Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Highlander. I'm going to be showing you guys my Highlander basic to advanced guide. So I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you guys exactly how all of his moves work. And then I'm going to get into some actual combos that you can do with his moves. Now keep in mind, some of them are basic, some of them are a bit more advanced. Now I am playing with an Xbox controller on PC. So keep in mind, whatever I say, just transfer it to whatever you're playing on. Now when when it comes to the Highlander, he is a bit of a weird one. He is extremely slow. So keep that in mind if you're going to be playing Highlander, he is very, very slow. And he does not hit that hard, okay? So I thought he was going to hit like an absolute Mack truck. To be honest, Shigoki hits harder and is faster than this guy. Now, one other thing you have to keep in mind when it comes to the Highlander is the fact that he has some really weird timings when it comes to his moves, okay? Especially he's fainting due to the fact that his heavies are so slow, okay? There is some really weird timings. I'm going to try my best to put it across to you guys and show you the weird timings of it. But I just wanted to give you a heads up as well. He's very, very slow. He does not hit that hard. There are a few other issues I will go over. And he also has some really weird timings. But keep in mind, guys, I will be versing level 1 and level 0 bots. It's just a lot easier for me to talk and to explain these things properly. So let's get straight into it, shall we? All right, guys, so we are here with the Highlander. Now, I'll go over his hero specifics. He has his offensive form and defensive form. Now, your defensive form is just your regular form. You can block, parry, guard break, all that good shit. When it comes to his offensive form, though, you basically can't do anything except for your unblockables, a kick, and a throw, okay? And I'm going to get into the, all the weird timings and shit later on but keep that in mind so when you're in your normal form you can guard break you can light attack you can do all those sort of things when you're in your offensive form all you can do is your unblockables you can do a weird light attack like butt with your weapon you can kick and you can throw that is it you can't block you can't parry you can't guard break when you're in your offensive form now, the way you enter your offensive form is to hold down the heavy attack button. Now, I will show you how that works later on because, once again, it's really weird. When you're in offensive form, now, there's two ways to get out of it. One, you can press B to cancel. Okay, so you're in your offensive form and you press B and you'll go into your defensive form. But if you're in your offensive form and you just let go of the heavy button, which is keeping you in it, you'll automatically do a big unblockable heavy. So, if you want to exit your offensive form but you don't want to do the unblockable heavy, you have to hit B. Now, attacking while in offensive form, this basically just means that you get access to that kick, you get access to cable toss, which will throw them on the ground, and you get that light attack. Now, fast flow to offensive form. Basically, at any point in time, you can go into your offensive form. So you can throw down a light attack and then go into a heavy unblockable, which is your offensive form, if you want to. I'll show you how that works later on. It feels kind of clunky, to be honest. The whole Highlander, he just feels a little bit weird to use. It's definitely going to take some getting used to just because his timings are drastically different to everyone else on the roster. So like I said before, if you want to exit offensive form, you have to press B. Keep in mind as well, if you get hit at all when you're in your offensive form, you'll automatically get taken out of it and go back to your defensive form. Now, this is a major issue because there are a lot of people who just throw out a single light attack as soon as you go into offensive form and they just throw you right out of it. And considering his attacks are extremely slow, it's really hard to stay in offensive form and do anything because one light attack and you're booted out of the form. So the way you have to use offensive form is extremely weird once again i'll show you that in a moment now when you are in an offensive form okay your light attacks are not interrupted when someone blocks you and you can also use the light attacks to cancel your offensive heavies so that is the offensive form okay now when it comes to the offensive form it's like shigoki okay so you do have hyper armor but keep in mind that your hyper armor activates slower than the warlord and the shigoki um that's once again because his timings are different and his heavy attacks are slower so people still have a chance to hit you out of it or guard break you out of it if they are very quick and they see you doing a heavy, but you do have hyper armor on those heavies. While in defensive form, you do have superior block on your light attacks. You can cancel your zone attack, but pretty much don't use a zone attack. Uh, from what I can tell, it is so slow. It doesn't have hyper armor and it's just really weird to use. People just parry it all day long. You can cancel your sprint attack by pressing B after the first attack. Now, when you're in offensive form, there are a couple things you can do, okay? So unblockable heavies can be canceled into the front kick. Unblockable heavies can be canceled into the caber toss, which is the one where you throw them and the kick can be cancelled into the toss. 
Now, I'm going to go over them later on, but they were all extremely slow, okay? They're very easy to dodge. Now, the Celtic Curse is a really interesting move. So, you dash forward, you hit heavy attack, and you do this massive top heavy, okay? Now, at any point in time, you can use the right stick to dodge in any direction and hit heavy attack, and you'll do sort of like this spinning side heavy. It's really weird. I'll show you that in a moment. It has hyper armor as one of his staple moves, but it's very slow, and I think people are going to, you know, catch onto it pretty damn quick. And you can use that move in order to start chain now before we get into his moves there is one massive thing that you guys need to know about on the highlander you do not want to parry attacks I'll get into that later on. It sounds crazy, but you get nothing from a parry currently, okay? The most you can get from a parry is a light attack. You can't get any heavies off a parry. His uh, parry into a guard break distance is extreme. It's like he's a T-Rex, okay? His guard break distance off a parry is extremely small, and it's just, I don't know what they were thinking with it. He needs a longer guard break range, and he needs to be able to get something more off of the parry, because right now, he has crushing counter, okay? So anyone who's played the Warden knows that if you light attack, at the same time as someone heavy attacks or does an attack from the top, you'll nullify their attack and you'll hit them, okay? It's called crushing counter. I'll show you that later on, but the Highlander has crushing counter from any direction. So no matter if they attack from left, right, either the top, it doesn't matter. You can crush encounter their attacks, okay? And it hits pretty hard. So on the Highlander, you want to crush encounter all day long over parrying, okay? Because off a parry, like I said, it's really hard to get a guy break and the most you get is a light attack. But if you crush encounter their attacks and you get really good at that, you can pretty much just kill someone through nothing but crushing counters. It's insane. So that is just one thing I had to let you guys know. Uh, we're not going to be going over parries much in his kit because parries are useless. I got to be honest with you. So once again, we'll be going off this one. Tir -na -nog. Tir -na -nog. I have no idea, but it's two lights into a heavy. Looks like this. So light attack, light attack, and heavy. Okay. As you can see, they're pretty damn slow. Light, light, heavy. Of course, he's rocking a massive claymore, so I expect it to be slow, but... It does have some drawbacks in terms of gameplay. The next one we're going to be looking at is low land slashes. So it's just light attack into heavy. So once again, light attack, heavy. Okay. One more time, light attack, heavy. Just remember to keep switching up directions when it comes to these. The next one is Banshee's Whale, and that is two heavies. Now keep in mind, like I said, he has really weird timings when it comes to his heavy. So you have to heavy attack, wait, heavy attack, okay? If you go heavy attack and then heavy straight away, heavy, heavy, like I just did then, he'll only do the one. So I'll go heavy, heavy. Ready? Heavy, heavy. Nah. His timings are really fucking weird. So you want a heavy attack, wait for it to basically hit the guy, and then initiate the second heavy. So heavy attack, now heavy. I don't know why they did this with his timings, but it just feels extremely awkward to play. So I'll go over it one more time, because this is pretty much, you have to delay all of your inputs in terms of all his moves. Otherwise, they don't go off because of the weird timing. So you want a heavy attack as it's about to hit him, initiate the second heavy. So heavy, and now heavy. Boom. So next one we're going to look at is the Celtic Curse. That's a dash forward into a heavy attack, okay? So you want to dash forward using the movement stick and the dodge button, and then you want to go for a heavy. So dash, wait, heavy. So dash forward, heavy. And it looks like that. So keep in mind, you have that high armor, but I want you to notice something, okay? He goes for the swing, and if you notice, he doesn't get his hyper armor until the sword is up in the air. So heavy, look at that, okay? So the sword is above his head before he gets the hyper armor. If this peacekeeper wanted to, she could just hit me out of it. Boom, that's a massive delay on his hyper armor. I'll show you guys this quickly. What you want to do is you want a Celtic Curse, and then you want to use your right stick and heavy attack from either side. Once again, there is a weird delay. So you want to dash forward heavy, and then use your right stick and heavy, whichever direction you want to go. So dash forward heavy, and then switch. Okay, just like that. So if I want to go right, dash forward heavy, right. I want to go left, dash forward heavy, heavy left. Okay. It sounds like he's wielding a lightsaber or something. It's pretty damn cool, but dash forward heavy, boom. Now, you got to be pretty quick with it. Dash forward, heavy, boom. Dash forward, heavy, boom. Now, this is a good way to speed up that hyper armor because you go boom and then get hyper armor straight away. Because if you just do the Celtic Curse normally, like I said, it's very delayed on his hyper armor. But if you do it and then switch, you get hyper armor pretty much instantly. So keep that in mind. One more time, you want to dash forward into the Celtic Curse and then you want to switch by going right direction on your right stick into a heavy. So forward dash, right direction, heavy, okay? So that is how you do the Celtic Curse. All right, so now to show you how to go into the offensive form. So you just hold down the heavy trigger. So holding down heavy attack will put you into offensive form like this. Your weapon starts glowing once again like a lightsaber. Now there's one thing to keep in mind here, okay? If you want to cancel it, you press B. 
But every time you go into the form and press B to cancel it, your stamina drains, okay? I don't know why they put this on there. Going into offensive form to begin with is already hard enough as it is. And then having that extra stamina drain every time you want to cancel it, it just makes it even more complicated and weird, especially because the Highlander does have some stamina issues. But to go into it, what you need to do is just hold down your right trigger. Now, next one we're going to be looking at is Baylor's Might, okay? Now, all you do is release the heavy trigger once you're in offensive form. So, go into offensive form by holding down the heavy button. Okay, and all you want to do is just let go of the heavy attack button, boom, and you'll do an unblockable. You can do that from whichever direction you want. If I want to go left, boom, hold that up. If I want to go top, boom, you just let go and you'll do an unblockable. Now, the next one we're going to be looking at is Kaber Toss. Okay, so you want to go into offensive form, okay, and then you want to pull back on the movement stick and hit guard break and you will toss them. Okay, so offensive form. So pull back on the movement stick and guard break at once. You'll grab them. You'll throw them on the ground just like that. Once again, boom, you'll grab them and throw them on the ground. You can follow this up with a heavy attack. Okay, so you can grab them. Boom. And then just let go and you'll hit them with a heavy. It's unblockable as well. One thing to keep in mind, like I said, this thing is extremely slow. They can dodge it. So if you go for this, look at that delay. I click it delay there is a massive delay on all his attacks i really don't know why but keep that in mind if you are using the cable toss it's really nice to use it by cancelling your kick because it throws people off drastically and you can catch them as they're dodging but the next one we're going to look at is that kick okay so so the fumarian kick when you're in offensive form you just push guard break so go into offensive form and kick boom now watch how slow this thing is boom okay he has a massive wind up before he actually goes out for that kick. So most people are going to be dodging this thing. The only reason you're going to be using this is pretty much to cancel it into the Kaba Tosk. Okay, so as you go for the kick, you pull back on the uh, movement stick and you hit guard break again and you will go for the Kaba Tosk. So kick and then switch into the Kaba Tosk just like that. Okay, so if you're back here, kick and then switch. Now you have some time to delay this thing. Like I said, delay it at the very last second so that way they dodge the kick. And then before you know it, you catch him with the Kaber Toss. So keep that in mind, you can kick, cancel into a Kaber Toss, and then go for that unblockable heavy. Now the next one we're looking at when you're in offensive mode is your enhanced light attack, okay? So, offensive mode. This one's really weird to do because like my finger right now is on the uh, heavy attack button. And now I gotta like use two fingers and put one on the light attack button, one on the heavy attack button. It just feels really awkward to use, but that's what it looks like, okay? So it's just a little little jab with the butt of your weapon. Look at that though. It drains your stamina something fierce. So once you go into offensive stance, you can go what? One, two, three, four light attacks, okay? Four light attacks drains his, the entirety of your stamina and the damage is pissiful, okay? Look at that. Eh. It's just like a little poke and yet it just drains a, like a quarter of his stamina every time. I have no idea why. It's crazy. So what you can do though is if you go for the heavy, Okay, you can cancel it like that, okay? So he does have a mini version of the Lawbringers like top poke thing, okay? So if you go for an unblockable heavy and you don't want to do it, just, just cancel it into that, okay? Unblockable heavy, you don't want to do it, cancel it into a light. You can do that. I don't know how other people play, but it's extremely weird for me to have one finger on the heavy like this and then another one on that to do the light attacks. It just feels extremely weird to me. Normally, I just do this and I switch between the two. But that right there is how you do the light attack. Now, guys, he has something extremely overpowered. It fucking just decimates everyone. I can't believe they put this thing in the game. It is just fucking disgusting that this is even in the game, okay? So he has an offensive form emote spam. Look at this shit, ready? So you want to go into offensive form, hold down that right trigger, okay? Then you want to spam your emote. And look at that, yeah. It looks like he's jerking off in her face. I'm joking, this thing's just fucking funny. I have no idea why they put this thing in the game. It's like, what? They literally put an emote <laughs> on the move set list. Why is this a move? It does it does nothing but spam the guy and look like you're jerking off at him. <laughs> Honestly, I love it, but I have no idea why they, they put it in the move set list. It's, it's a little weird to me, but I love it. It's cool. So that is how you do the uh, offensive form emote spam. And the last thing we're looking at is his sprint attack. Okay, so free form like this as you're running around. All you do is you run towards them and hit heavy, boom, and you do a massive attack, and there's two of them. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't have hyper armor. See? Boom, no hyper armor. 
which is extremely bad, but you can cancel the second one. So if you run, you go for the first one, boom, hit B straight away, you'll cancel the second one, sort of like his uh, zone attack. Speaking of his zone attack, his zone attack, once again, doesn't have any hyper armor. I have no idea why. It's pretty damn insane. Now it drains a whole bunch of stamina as well. And keep in mind, you can cancel it like normal, okay, just by pressing B. So those are all his moves, okay? Now we're going to get into his combos. Like I said, the majority of his combos are extremely weird to use, and the timing on them are, once again, very weird. So the first one we're going to be looking at is his light attack into an unblockable, okay? So what you have to do here is do a light attack and then hold the heavy for a split second to get an unblockable. So you're not going fully into offensive mode like this, okay? All you're doing is you're light, hold the heavy for a split second, and then letting it go. So that's how you go into that unblockable. So light, hold it for a second, unblockable. Light, hold it for a second, unblockable. You have to get used to doing this, okay? This is the only way you're going to be getting unblockables off because like I said, as soon as you go into this mode, someone's just going to light attack you instantly. You're going to get thrown out of it back to defensive mode. So in order to use your unblockables, you have to be smart with them and just basically charge it up for a split second and then use it right away. Boom, charge it up for a split second, use it right away. So that is the light into unblockable. And the next one is pretty much a heavy into unblockable. This one is parry bait, but like I said, if you manage to whiff the heavy attack or if they don't block it, you can follow it up with an unblockable heavy. So you want a heavy attack normally and then hold it for a second into another unblockable. So heavy normally, hold it for a second into an unblockable. His heavies are very slow and you will most likely be parried. Keep that in mind. Can't stress that one enough. Now the next one is a light attack into that unblockable and then you're going to follow it up into a kick. Now the timing on this is once again extremely fucking weird and it feels awkward to use. So you want a light attack, hold it for a second to do that unblockable heavy and then you want to hold it again for a second and then go into a kick, okay? So it looks like this, light, hold it for a second for the heavy, hold it again and then kick. Now make sure you hold on to the heavy trigger because otherwise you'll unleash another unblockable and there is a combo for that, I'll show you in a second, but you want to release it when you want to release it. So once again, light attack, hold the heavy for a second, hold it again, and then kick. Now keep in mind it takes some getting used to and uh, it, you will get used to it eventually, but it, it just feels weird to be honest. <laughs> and now the last one I'm going to show you for that one is once again, the light, hold the unblockable for a second, hold it again, go for that kick, and then just release it for another unblockable, okay? So one more time, you want to light, hold the unblockable for a second, hold it again, go for that kick, and then just release it for another unblockable. And now the next one I'm going to show you is the light, okay? You want an unblockable heavy, and then you want to hold it and go into the cable toss, okay? So it looks like this. You want to light, hold it for a second for the unblockable heavy, hold it again, and then cable toss. And now there is a very weird delay in between that unblockable heavy and that cable toss. To make sure you get it off properly, you will need to hold the movement stick back and sort of spam that uh, guard break in order to ensure you get the cable toss off. So you want to light attack, hold down that unblockable heavy, okay, and then spam that guard break in order to get that cable toss off. So keep that in mind. You will need to mess around with that in order to get the timing down right. Now the next one we're going to be looking at is your heavy. You're going to faint the heavy into a guard break, okay? Now, keep in mind, like I said, you can only get a light off a guard break. So, you want a heavy faint guard break, light attack, okay? And then go for an unblockable heavy. Now, on the Gladiator, you can heavy faint guard break really fucking quick and it will do it. But you have to delay your heavy faint, okay? So, you have to heavy, you have to faint, and then delay the guard break. Otherwise, it's not going to go off. So, heavy faint guard break, it's not going to work. See, the guard break didn't work. I clicked all three buttons there. Heavy faint guard break doesn't work so once again this is what i'm talking about how the timings are weird you have to heavy faint wait a second for him to do the faint and then guard break so heavy faint and then guard break like that okay it's really confusing but you'll get used to it once you practice it so heavy faint wait for it and then guard break once again heavy faint wait for it guard break one more time heavy faint wait for it guard break the whole thing just is really slow and the timing is just really weird it's just an overarching theme of the highlander he is fun to play and he does feel really good once you like figure out how to play him. It's very slow and methodical. So what you want to do now is you want a heavy faint guard break. Once you land that guard break, you want to land a light attack and then follow it up with that unblockable heavy. So heavy faint, wait for it, guard break, light attack, hold it for a second and then unblockable heavy, okay? Once again, heavy faint, wait for it, guard break, light attack, hold it for a second, unblockable heavy. Next one we're going to be looking at is the Celtic Curse into the cancel side heavy. And then you want a heavy faint guard break and then light. This one is extremely hard to pull off because the timings are so fucking weird. So dash forward heavy, cancel it. Heavy faint guard break, light, unblockable heavy. Once again, extremely awkward to use, but once you get it down pat, 
It's a pretty neat combo. You want to go for the Celtic Curse, cancel into the side heavy, heavy faint guard break, light attack, charge that up for a split second, and boom. Watch your stamina though. He drains through stamina really quick. So that is the Celtic Curse into the side heavy, into the heavy faint guard break light, and then you can follow up with that unblockable heavy. It's a pretty neat move. And now one of the last ones we're going to be looking at is the Celtic Curse into that side heavy cancel. Then you're going to go straight into an unblockable heavy, into k -Batos, into unblockable heavy. So you want to dash forward, okay? Cancel into that side heavy, hold it for a second, unblockable heavy, spam that guard break, cable toss, and then unblockable heavy again. So once again, guys, you want to Celtic Cross into that side heavy, hold it for a split second. Okay, spam that guard break for that cable toss, get it off, and then release it for that unblockable heavy. Now you can do the same thing with the kick, and it's a bit longer formed. It drains a shit ton of stamina, so be careful. So what we can do is, I'll show you the uh, cancelling the kick into the cable toss one. So you want to Celtic Curse, side, hold the heavy, okay, go for the kick, and cancel that, cable toss, and then release that heavy. Like I said, it's a nice long move, but it drains all of your stamina. Okay, the whole thing, gone. But what I'm going to do now, guys, is show you his crushing counter. All right, guys, so now I'm going to be showing you his crushing counter. This is his most reliable source of damage outside of those unblockables. So it's going to be a pretty damn crucial thing to learn, okay? So the way this works, guys, is what you want to do is you want to light attack as they attack, okay? Now, it's the same timing as the parry, but what you're going to do is you're going to basically, like, deflect their attack. It's the tank's version of deflect. You're going to deflect their attack, and you're going to hit them for some decent damage. Okay, so I'll show that to you guys now. So, boom, just like that. It's unblockable as well, which is quite cool, and they have no chance to stop it. So, light attack as he goes to do it. It's the same timing as the parry, okay? Boom. Just like that. Look how much damage it does. You can literally just turtle up and kill someone through just the crushing counter. Because you can do it from any side, it's absolutely crazy. So remember, just you got to get that timing down. Just practice it. Boom. As he goes to attack at the very last second, either when the uh, indicator glows or you can watch his movement, whichever one you want to do, what works for you. Just basically light attack at the same time as he does his attack and you're solid. Boom, just like that. It is honestly the strongest part of his kit. So guys, that is it for my Highlander guide. Like I said, he has a ton of moves. He's a very weird character to play. I have no idea where he's going to sit in terms of 1v1. I think he's actually going to be mid to low tier. All of his combos are just kind of awkward to use. He feels very awkward to use. For me personally, going from the Gladiator to the Highlander is like night and day difference. The Gladiator is smooth. He's fast. Everything flows. It's just amazing to play and feels great. You go over to the Highlander and all of a sudden everything's like slow. It's it's all clunky. The timings are all weird. You have to delay certain things. Otherwise, it just doesn't go off. And his damage output is pretty mediocre considering he's carrying a giant fucking claymore. I expected him to hit a lot harder than what he actually does. But keep in mind, he is still fun to play. And once you do master his timings, okay, and the fact that he is slow and you start to compensate for that, he becomes very goddamn scary. And he does have the ability to just push people around and just with his hyper armor, you can trade blows very easily. And that's what you're going to be focusing on. You're going to be focusing on trade trading blows with people. You're going to be focusing on getting those unblockable heavies out, but you know, not staying in offensive form, just throwing them out quickly like I was showing you. You know, light attack, unblockable heavy, stuff like that. And you're going to be kicking a lot, but cancelling it into the cable toss. You want to try and make them dodge the kick, so that way you can grab them, throw them on the ground for that unblockable heavy. But overall, he is a strong character, just a little awkward to use. In 4v4s, keep in mind as well, he's still extremely overpowered because of those unblockables. And in 1v1s, once everyone gets a hold of him, we're going to have to see how he goes. But that is all I have for this video. I really hope it helped you guys out. I hope you now have a grasp on how to play the Highlander. Like I said, he's definitely a hard one to use, but once you get used to him, I think if you enjoy his play style, you're going to have a blast with him and you're going to be able to fuck people up. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Highlander? And if you've had a chance to play him, please let me know what you think about his weird timings and how slow he is down below in the comments as well. And please share this video around. It helps me out a fuck ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys. If I